Hi everybody, it's Julie here and I'm back with a new process video. This time I'm scrapbooking at some photos that I took at the Christmas fair. And you think, why Julia, why are you scrapping this now? It's May. Well actually, here in Sweden it's snowing today, so I thought it's very fitting. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you can see I have a lot of photos here. Um, I didn't know what photos I wanted to scrapbook, so when I sent it off through printers, I just sent all of them off. And now I sort of feel like I really want to, I want to make one page. I don't want to have a bunch of them. I want them all in one space. And as you can see, it's really hard to fit all of them. And I had a bit of a hard time finding out how to make it work, to make the layout sort of look like I meant to do it. And one way that you can do is making all of them the same format, uh, the same uh, size, <laughs> and that makes it easier and that you can, if you have that, you can make sort of a grid instead. And uh, that is what I did. So a lot of these photos I cut down to 3x3, three three. luckily that worked. Sometimes it doesn't and then you have to find something else to do. Uh, so all the photos that I could, I cut down to 3x3, three three, except for this sort of series photo, and then I'm going to keep that as it is. And then I'm going to make a grid, and I'm going to make it sort of diagonal from... <laughs> I'm a bit frustrated, you can see that. Um, so I decided to do something else, and focus on what I'm going to do for sort of embellishments, or... Um, I need a place to write. The background paper is from Maggie Holmes' uh, Shine collection, and I think this is my third paper. I love both the sides of this sort of cross sparkly pattern and also the green on the background. And here you can see I finally decided on how I want my photos, and when I have decided I'm going to stick it down right away so I can change my mind. <laughs> and then I decide <clears throat> that I'm going to choose one color to go with this and I'm going to choose this sort of minty green color and because the photos are pretty heavy and I have chose a black and white background I still want something to pop and I think this sort of cold um, blue green color really helps um, to make some interest and I'm going to choose some black foam uh, no, I'm going to choose black foam and these chipboard stickers from uh, Felicity Jane to add my title. And here I was like, okay, but how am I going to add my title? Um, <laughs> it's really hard this. I think sometimes it's harder when you have a very... Um, a layout where it's a bit simpler I and mean, just focusing on the photos. It, it sometimes can be because you need to play it all simpler. When you just have one photo and have a lot of embellishments, you can sort of get away with stuff that you can't really do when you have this sort of strict grid design. So it's a bit tricky to balance that, but I think it worked out pretty fine. So I found this wood grain paper and I'm going to choose that instead. And I'm going to place my title and also my journaling on this. Um, and the title is going to be Fire Show, but in Swedish. And I decided to do it in two different fonts. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, the story, I suppose, uh, <laughs> when I do the title. Um, yeah, so each year we go for, uh, they have a big Christmas fair at this castle in West Sweden. And it is beautiful, it's magical, and the always, and every time I've been there anyway, they have had this couple doing a fire show. And that, that is magical. It is amazing to watch them dance and to breed fire and all that they do. Um, it just, yeah. I get teary-eyed every single time, and I have seen them dance at least three times. So I really wanted to scrap like this, and I had this photo of the castle, and I really wanted to add that too. So, uh, <laughs> embellishment. I found these wood veneer hearts, they're from Studio Calico, and I had just painted them with some mint-colored nail polish. So that is a tip for you if you want to get 
to change the colors of wood veneer I like to do it with nail polish partly because usually <laughs> um, the nail polish is pretty opaque but you also get that sort of shine and if you do it in several colors you can almost get that sort of enamel look so I tend to do that if I'm going to change the colors of my uh, wood veneer. So I looked through my little bag of random, little my box of random stuff, and I found a few things. So I'm going to make make three clusters. So I put out uh, some labels that are just print off and have sort of that minty color uh, around the edge. I also found some snowflakes that I die cut before, and um, I'm going to place the heart. So that is going to make the basis of my three. Uh, clusters here and I also found from Felicity Jane some uh, rubber or silicone I don't know what they're made of but you know that those kind of shapes and I'm going to add those two and I'm really sorry I don't know what my camera is doing right now but yeah uh, so that is I really wanted to add in some fun things here, but I didn't want to, I know that I couldn't go over the edge because the photos are pretty heavy and I want those to be a focus here. So what I decided to do is pick up a few elements that I know would work and that I could replicate in all of the areas that would add some interest but not take over. And um, yeah, so the little labels I they are in different shapes, the hearts are different size, um, the snowflakes are a bit different. Two of them are in vellum and one is in just regular paper. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm a bit apprehensive to is if the rubber shape will actually stick down with the matte medium. I hope it will, but I'm not sure. <laughs> We will see. And then I also went in with some enamel dots. These are in minty color and has some sparkling to it and they're really, really pretty. And I need to buy more. Uh, but they are from China, so it will take forever to get them. I also decided to add the heart shape above the uh, title. So that is my layout. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I think sometimes it's really hard to make these pages when you have so much heavy photos. Have um, a lot of photos anyway, and especially when these photos are pretty much all black. But I think it worked out really nice. Um, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, I hope this sort of inspired you or got some ideas if you have a lot of photos. <laughs> to how to sort of make it work on the page because I still don't feel it's overly heavy. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. I hope you liked this video and I hope that the weather will clear up so we get some spring here in Sweden and that uh, I will see you soon.